I'm going to show you guys an amazing stamina farm that you need to do like every so often when you're playing. It'll make your game way more fun. You need to do this. It's so helpful. So you can come to this area every hour or two and all this resource will respawn. You can grab it all and you can make six full restores on stamina. Full, uh, six full restore stamina meals. And also show you the recipe for it. So in order to do this, we're going to go here. This is I don't have the map right here, but it's to the southeast of Zello Pond and to the northeast of Merkay Island and the John South Shrine. We're gonna, actually going to go to the this shrine. I'm going to say it. I'm just going to show you this is the easiest way to get to it. So I'm on top of this hill right here. There's a path down. There's all the stuff down there. Hopefully it helps you orient where I'm at here, what hill I'm on. There's a fork in the road right there. And on that fork in the road, you just go up, veer off the path and just climb up this hill. And from here, we're going to go over to that mountain and we're going to climb to the top. Now I'm going to do this sped up. So that way you don't have to wait for me to do it. Uh, so you can see where the, so you can track where I went, but you don't have to actually wait for me to do it. It's going to take a little while. Uh, and also, if you need to, you can, uh, at the bottom right of the video player, there's a button for changing the playback speed. So if you really want to, you can slow it down if you need to for some reason. But I'm going to speed this part up show you how to get up there. Okay, so once you get up on this platform, so that's the hill we were on just a second ago, in case you were confused. That was the hill. Okay, so from this platform, you can just glide over to here. And there's a secret entrance in here. And as far as I'm aware, this is like the only easy way to get to this uh, shrine. So you go in here, and you drop down, and you can land over here, and there's a shrine back there. And that shrine is called the Maugis Shrine. I don't know how to say it. Uh, now, that shrine makes this spot OP, because you can just come here and check so fast when you have that. So from there, you'll just climb up onto this ledge, and then you'll go over here, and you'll drop down right here. And then from here, you can just run out, get your stamina back to full. Oh, wow. Okay, I did not expect that guy to just one-tap me. Uh, thank God I had a fairy. Anyway, um, so then you can just glide out from here. So just be careful of that guy, apparently. I didn't realize that guy would do five hearts of damage if he hit me. Uh, and so now we're going to fly to this bridge, but we're not going to cross the bridge. We're just going to land, you know, on the shoreline by the bridge. Okay, so now... So we get over to this beach. And at this beach, you can find these guys. There's the Bright-Eyed Crab. And there's like a maximum spawn of 15 of these, I want to say. So what happens is you just go here every... I'm not sure the respawn. Like, I came here, I, I got all of them. And then I came back after like one hour and then they they were all here again. So just come and check this every so often in your so get all get these. Use all of the stamina that you're gonna we're gonna get from these, and I'm gonna show you with recipes and stuff in a minute. Uh and then okay, there we go. That's all of them. Uh we're also gonna go real fast to um the lookout landing skyview tower. But yeah, so go here like once an hour or something like that, grab them all, and then go to a cooking pot and then make stamina. And then what here's like the process, right? You'll do that, and you'll get, like, six or seven full stamina restores. And then go and explore and do whatever it is. Because, like, six or seven full stamina restores will let you do anything. You can climb Death Mountain with that many. So, you could go and do something, and once you run out, it's been, like, by the time you run out, if you use them, like, wisely, it'll be, like, an hour or two, or more. And then you'll just come, you're like, okay, you're out. Then just teleport back to there again, which, again, so you don't forget, it was Jones South Shrine. Just teleport back to Jones Style Shrine and then go pick them all up again. And then whenever then grab them all and come here to Lookout Landing. Come into the emergency shelter. And you can go over here to this cooking pot and you can start cooking with these guys. So in order to cook the bright eyed crab, it's actually really simple. So if all you're after is the stamina, you can just grab two of them, and that's it. And you'll be able to make the stamina drink. You don't need anything fancy. Just two crabs will give you a pretty decent meal, honestly. So that'll give you this one, which gives full stamina on four hearts. But if you do want some recipes to make it so it also heals you, you can take two of these and you can combo it with a lot of things. You can just take one mushroom with it. Uh, you can also take one meat, one drumstick, or one prime meat, or even a gourmet meat. And if you want to make some really fancy meals, uh, the main thing you're worried about here is uh, making something that doesn't give the stamina restore. And so in order to avoid that, there's... Uh, one thing is like, for example, you don't want to put three of a fruit with it because that'll often make a fruit meal instead. But uh, if you want to, you want to mix and match ingredients. So like a fruit with a meat with a vegetable. And it's not a guarantee though, but generally, you know, mixing like that, make sure it doesn't... Because if you put a bunch of fruit, it'll suddenly be like simmered fruit. And simmered fruit doesn't restore energy. It's the crab that restores energy. So like, 
kind of weird how the recipe system works like that. But yeah, so you can combo this with anything you want, though. Just make sure to follow those rules when doing it. Uh, you can also, I don't know, I'm going to try this one real fast. Uh, if we put in three of a type of meat, though, I think it might be okay. But it might not. Let's see here. Yeah, still good. So meat combos with it just fine. But yeah, so you can do that, and then you'll get six sam stamina restores uh, every time you go there. Now, for me, I don't know if it respawns on a blood moon or if it respawns just, you know, periodically and you just check back in an hour or two. I just know I went there and I came back in an hour or two and they were all there again. And then I came back today. It's the next day in real life and they're all there again. Uh, and it's been really helpful for my adventuring. I was able to do things that you wouldn't be able to do without these stamina drinks. I was able to fly to the Joku'u Shrine on Thunder Isles all the way from the Rebella Wetland Skyview Towers because of these drinks. And it wasn't even that bad. I only used like two of them or something. So like the amount of exploring you can do that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do is just crazy. That's why you need to do this. Just check there every like two hours or something. Get your stamina meals and that'll make your life so much easier to make the game so much more fun. You can go climb Death Mountain. There's just so many things that you'll be able to do once you have these stamina drinks. So highly, highly recommend doing that just periodically as you play the game. It'll make your game way more fun. So hopefully this video helped you out, guys. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe for more content. And now you know how to have more fun with tons of stamina meals in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.